everybody, welcome to our fabulous new to Red Robins launch and as you already know, it's our birthday and we're going to all the fun of the circus. So we have got some incredible characters, we've had lots of fun with this as you can see what the DT have done for us, they are phenomenal. So look at this, aren't they just the best? Look at the colourways. Aren't they brilliant? So here we have, we've got our merry-go-round, but we've got this little mouse and he's on his unicycle and he's going across that little wire. Isn't that so much fun? And we've got him banging his drum. There's so a little juggler down here. There is a lot happening in this card. So, and again, with your backing papers that you've already got from different collections, this is going to work beautifully. So that's my first one. Wait till you see this one. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Isn't it amazing? And it's one of those that it's a, uh, oh, did you see that? Oh, they're throwing the, oh, there it goes. They're throwing those batons to each other, which is phenomenal. So that's a little sneaky peek of some of the things that you can actually use. These are our uh, Craftmaster uh, Kinetics. So these are um, our little sliders that we've got going on. But aren't they just the most adorable little characters? Fabulous. So that's just a couple of them. Let's introduce you to the collection, shall we? And have a look at these boards. Now, I don't know if any of you've noticed, you may very well have if you've been watching our Facebook, that Stephanie, Diane and myself did a little bit of wing walking for this one. And the wonderful Andrew Greenskip, would you not believe we're not, we weren't in the room together? How phenomenal is that? Brilliant. It is a little bit of a giggle, wasn't it? So here we have our wing walking aeroplane. It's our first die. So come fly with me, of course. We've got a lovely banner. So here we can actually put in a sentiment if you wanted to, somebody's name. How about it could be marry me, possibly? Just saying. So that is on here. And we've got him on a kinetic card. So and let me flip this over and I'll quickly show you. Here we have the piece that's been cut out, I've used as a lollipop stick. So I can slide that up and down like so. So he actually flies through the sky. How amazing is that? So that's come fly with me. Then we have our Skittles. Now these have all just been dumped down, ready after a bit of a rehearsal. So they're all piled together, but aren't they just phenomenal? Love the artwork on this. It is beautiful. The colours just jump off the page. Then moving on. We have got Fernando the Fantastic. And he is pretty fantastic. Look at him. And he's also double sided. Isn't he just adorable? And he's actually on the tightrope on this one. So he's doing his bit of a daredevil. How brilliant is that? So that's Fernando. Then we have Diego the Dazzling. And he's on his drum. Well, actually, it's not a drum. They're actually bottle top. It's a bottle top caps that is doing here and these are look like cherry stones that he's using so that's Diego and again he's double sided isn't he delightful I love the fact that he's all dressed up with his top hat then we have Sebastian the spectacular he's our juggler isn't he wonderful I'm loving his colours that he's got on as well and he's actually juggling by the look of it with buttons so this is where they make do and mend with what they found to create this lovely circus. There we have our lovely Sebastian. Then we have Marcus the Miraculous. I think they've done it on purpose with these names, just so you can't say it. they're a bit of a mouthful, aren't they? But aren't they just incredible? There he is. There's our Marcus. And then he's the tightrope walker. So to be able to walk across that tightrope, if you've seen them, they have these really big, long balancing sticks. So he's situated that he can actually hold on to that. Then, of course, he needs somewhere to tightrope. So we've got our toadstool tightrope. Again, aren't these colours just phenomenal? So can you imagine doing these and putting little glitter dots and things on? It's just wonderful. And then that is the tightrope that is suspended between your two mushrooms. Then we've got our cheerful, is it cheerful carousel? It is. So then breaking it down, we've got the beautiful carousel. Again, 
All of this is snippability. The decoupage on this is going to be fabulous. You've got the actual sticks that go up and down and the horses. Now, these horses have been done in a really special way, okay? First of all, when you place them on, they actually go around. You can see that they, this one I've placed here because it's going around there, okay? This is here because it's coming round from the back and this one I place in the back as it's peeping through. I will show you that though because that is just brilliant. So it, it actually works that when you place them on, it looks like they're going around, which is um, the, the composition of it all. Then it's not a big top celebration without the big top itself. And here we have that. It is a nested set of dies. Here we have all of these and aren't the colorways just beautiful? So that's the big top. So they've all got a circus tent as it is to actually do all of the acrobats. Then we've got under the big top gathering. So here we have our cute little characters, maybe a couple that we've not seen yet before. Okay, so keep an eye out because that might be a little sneaky peek to a web. Okay, so we've got our jugglers as well. So that is one of our gatherings. And then the second gathering in the collection is our carnival circus. So this is where all our acrobats are then doing jumping through hoops, riding on that unicycle and also uh, um, doing the tightrope. So that is the actual cards themselves. But sorry, the, the, the dies. Here we have some of our lovely little characters. So mixed it up a little bit. We've got a uh, lovely banging the drum. One of those naughty little acrobats has got on the wire and he's swinging on the wire, which is our tightrope. And then our fabulous little mouse is getting juggled about. So he's going up and down and on here on the kinetic piece because he's swinging on the tightrope. So he's going to tumble off, I think, unless he makes it to the other side safely. So that is one of the boards. And then on here few more of the elements together, a little bit of the gatherings. Obviously, we've got to bring in the big top, a little juggling character. Remember, he's actually the tightrope walker and we've um, swapped him out and he's now using the uh, battens. And then, like I said, with the actual uh, carousel, if you place the horses in this, it looks like they are going around the carousel. So that is our beautiful birthday celebration to Red Robins. Now, before this, we had a little prequel launch called Something to Tell You. Now, that's where I've actually borrowed a couple of these backing papers from. So if you've actually got that as a download, that's where these backing papers have come from. So I just wanted a beautiful open field, which is exactly what I've got, okay? All this grassland, got a couple of houses in the background, but they're faded out and a little bit of a tree. So I've got lots to work with here. And then our lovely Amber has done me a schmuckers board of all these cuts for us to be able to play with. Now, building up a scene with this is the easiest thing that you could ever possibly think of because also with two robins, to, oh, two red robins, as always, we have that let's say formula. So we give you the elements to create the story. So let's make a story. There we have our beautiful circus that's come to town and they've put the tent up. Now something that we do have when we have the circus is we've got the merry-go-round or the roundabout, whichever way you want to call it. I'm not going to put all the pieces, all the stems in just yet. I want to get one of each of the horses. So that's one, two, and three. Okay. So remember, this one is going away and around the corner. This one, I'm going to tuck in behind like so. So it's just coming back the other way. And this one is now coming around like that. So we've got all three. And then adding in the actual poles. I've done it that I've put the darker piece at the top because it's in the shadow. And then you can add in your lovely poles. So they're all going around the merry-go-round. But we need a few more characters with this. Maybe, I'm thinking. So we've got our fabulous little drummer. 
So he's down here, roll up, roll up. He's shouting for everybody to come and join in. We have, how easy is this? This is super quick as well to be able to do this. Let's bring in, I'm pop that there. So now we've got the tightrope. I'm gonna swap that out and bring in a smaller big top. Gives me a little bit more room to play with. And we've got two different mushrooms, which are just wonderful. So pop my mushrooms like that. He's the one that's gonna be on the wire. And then I actually need the wire itself. So just bring those down a little bit, pop the wire on there. And then he is on the wire with his balancing. We've got the little drummer shouting for everybody to come along. We've got the juggler. Maybe he's not juggling at this, he's actually pointing to him. And then we can even bring in our lovely guy. Oh, he's trying, and he actually sits on there. So if I just pop his foot, there we go. Look at that. How incredible. The detail of these is phenomenal. So creating a scene with these, how quick and easy was that? So that's a full story about all of our fabulous animals attending the circus. We've got all of our collections in there. And if you want to, we've got our lovely little acrobats of our da, 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 gatherings. But I've just seen, I'm going to put, can even have an aeroplane in the, in the background as well. Aren't they brilliant? So that is our phenomenal two red robins birthday die collection. Now, can you imagine all the other things that you're going to be able to make with this, not just on your basic making your cards, but think about all those fabulous day trips out. Maybe you've been to a certain place in America, you know the one, and you want to then do your um, uh, memory books and things like that. What is it called? Scrapbooking, maybe. This is going to be just wonderful collection to work with. So let's have a look at a couple more of our actual um, collections of, of cards that our DT have done. Now, this is just spectacular. Let me bring this down. This is incredible. So we have aeroplane, which is obviously, I don't know who's flying this one, it could, be, it could be the lovely Stephanie up there, up, up and away in the clouds. We've got the merry-go-round and we've got everything going on. But I love the fact that it's being put on a stepper because this is now giving you the opportunity to give that aspect, to give you know that definition, depth and dimension to your card. So that is that one. We've got another one where our aeroplane is doing the acrobatics. So... He's actually flying and doing the loop, the loop as well. These are just so much fun. And then just one more to show you. Look how amazing he is. How fabulous is this? He's actually upside down. So how amazing is that? And he's saying, have a beautiful day along that tightrope. And it is a little bit of rope as well. It's a little bit of string. So that is our birthday collection. I hope you enjoyed the inspiration. We'd love to see what it is that you make with this because it truly is phenomenal and just so much fun. Thank you for joining me and I hope we'll see you all again soon. You take care. Bye. If you would like to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notifications on all our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.